Hey guys, in today's episode, we're gonna install a rear bumper. This one's coming from hookroad.com specifically. We were able to partner up with them. We wanted to get a bumper for dad's Jeep. We found one, they were willing to send one out to us. We're thankful for that. And we're gonna put it on today. I hope you're having a good morning, day or night, whatever it might be. Thanks for being here. Okay, so I'm just starting to unbox it here, and so far I think it's packaged up real nicely. I had this box sitting outside for about a week, and the chickens, they crawled all over it, you know, pooped and peed, all that stuff that chickens do, and it rained on this box. It was sitting underneath the awning, but got a little rain on it on this side. The box held up nice. It's got foam on this side and this side that I just removed, threw over to the side there. We've got our box of hardware sitting over there, and a bracket, and now the bumper, uh, it's going to be uh, almost one big piece. I'm sure there's a little bit of install that we got to do. We got some wiring we're going to do on this, but we're ready to take this out of the box, put it over here behind the Jeep, and let's get that, let's get that done and get that old bumper off. It's going to be exciting. This has some weight to it. That is for sure. It is looking good in the plastic. I'm excited to see what it looks like on the outside. Definitely have a blanket around or something like that. This thing is heavy duty. It's got your hitch right there. That's pretty cool. So we guess we can take that hitch off. I don't know what this is rated for as far as tow capacity or hitch weight. We'll figure that out when we get there. Here's your bottom, of course. These are gonna be your LED lights. They look good. Oh my gosh, this thing is heavy. You got your lights there on the bottom, both sides. You got your hitch in the middle right there. A little dusty on that side. Can be cleaned. It came looking good. It's almost got like a rhino liner on it. And from what I can tell, I mean, it's, it's almost not like a material that I've, a coating that I've never really seen before. Doesn't come off, doesn't scratch off. So that's good. I like the LED lights on this thing. We're gonna take that off. If you're taking that rear bumper off, it's not a big deal. You've got maybe like 12 bolts to take off total, an 18 mil, a 16 mil, uh, a couple wrenches, stuff like that. So we'll do that right now. This one's got the mud flaps on it. So you're gonna take those off. All right, so we'll keep doing little updates as we do this here. Both of the mud flaps off. This is gonna be your hardware. I didn't get any instructions with the box, which really shouldn't be a big deal. You got four bolts, four nuts, four washers, four more washers. These are lock washers, four more bolts right there. These things are kind of cool looking the way they did them. They've got that rhino type coating on there. And it might be a powder coat of some kind, maybe a powder coat, could be. Remember sitting right there waiting in the wings. No wiring for this other than what is right here, which is okay. We've got some wiring that we can use ourselves. But just take note that these don't come with wiring, uh, except for this, of course. Okay, now I'm gonna get underneath. I'm not gonna show you the process. There's a good video out online that shows the process just to remove your plastic bumper right here. But basically a couple bolts over here, a couple bolts over there. I'm gonna take that hitch off, just the ball hitch to reduce some weight. But this is gonna come off as well. Maybe I don't need to take this off, but I'm going to. And then I'll be right back with another update. I hope you guys are having a good day. Hey guys, let's keep talking updates here. This Jeep just had one tow hook on the left side. Broke out the Hercules half inch impact, by the way. And this thing, it, uh, <laughs> it really does a good job. It eats, if you will. It just, it's got a lot of torque behind it. Right there, you can see two bolts that I removed and it's hanging downward just a little bit. Those came off. That bracket comes over here to this side of the plastic bumper, right inside here. And you want to take two bolts off. You can see them right there, just faintly. But those are sitting and spinning. So I'm just going to leave them in. We're going to pull this bumper off. I did the same on the other side. One other thing to note about the hook road bumper here is you got two tow points versus one. Now, some of these I'm sure came with two from factory. 
Dad's was sitting right underneath here, but this side didn't have any. And then this one comes with Crystal, the shop cat. So I've got most of the connections off for this license plate light right here. But there's a couple that I couldn't quite reach with my tool. So I will get those as this hopefully comes off here. Bracket on this side. They're following you? Yeah. Those silly chickens, I tell you what. Remember, those chickens aren't going to hurt you. They just have sharp teeth. No, well, they have beaks that they could bite, but they're just looking for food. I don't think they'll bite you, sweetie. All right, so the bolts that aren't coming out, they need to come out because it's got a little catch there, a little tab that holds on to the bumper. Oh. I don't know why. Here we go. We're making it. All right, I found out the error of my ways. I'm um, just doing a video. So this is the problem. So this is meant to stay on there. So you need to make sure you loosen up the top nut bolt, I should say, first. Got it. Got it. Got it. Well, that's good. We're making progress. Oh, we're fixing it. It's a party in here. It's a party? Oh, it's becoming a party. You bet. Party while we work on Papa's Jeep. What am I missing? But it's broken. It's not really broken. It's just getting a new bumper. Here we go. It's going to come off. Well, thanks for sticking around through all the madness as the kids come in and go out. That's just how it is around here. Probably the same for you guys. Out with the old. Ah. Sometimes I make things harder than it should be. Like with that, I mean, who would have thought? You've got, I don't have any manuals or anything like that. You've got two bolts, they're vertical. The one on the bottom doesn't want to see them to come out. Well, it's not supposed to come out, okay? The one on the top comes out, then your bracket comes off with the bolt staying in there. So no harm, no foul, we got it off. In case anybody's wondering why you'd want to have a hook road bumper versus your standard plastic bumper, there's kind of your your look, it's gonna tuck right in, just like it should. And I think it's gonna be a nice change. As far as the license plate goes, it's interesting to uh, think about where that is supposed to go. Does anybody know where that's supposed to go? Is there a bracket over there where it's supposed to go? I don't know, maybe right in the middle there, but that's where the spare tire hangs down. Ah, learning as we go, we'll find out. Right back over to our bumper. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna snap these off. Not snap them off, but I'm gonna take them off. Four bolts, you're gonna to have to go from the back side, put a wrench around this side, we'll take our hitch off. That bumper over there has a hitch built right into it. We've got dad's dual exhaust coming down here, that's a custom dual exhaust add-on. And that's not gonna be impacted, we should have enough clearance, hopefully. Looks like we will. So what's going to look like if your Jeep has this? Looks like Dad might have put these on. He usually goes with these this hardened hardware. I have nice. I have a bad knee. Let's see if we can tap this out of here. There we go. Look at that. Now you're going to come down. Come on. You can do it. What are we holding on to here? Is there a bolt underneath this? Not feeling anything. We're coming. Hopefully that's got some sort of a... What do you do with the license plate light? Guess it's no more, no more needed. Is there a license plate light in there? I don't know. So there's something. What's that? Anybody know? What do you think it is, Moose? You paying attention? No? Okay guys, got my hat back on. Couple observations here. I am gonna use 
I think this is the original hardware, but I kind of think it's dad's also because typically you won't see this type of hardware in an OEM setup. But these are the bolts that we're holding on this right over here. Your factory hitch, I do believe. This is all the old hardware right here, the original tow hook. This is going to be the new hardware that comes with the hook road bumper so these would be those bolts that are right in there right now i'm going to just keep these for later for a different uh need potentially as long as those bolts fit through and i think that they will they are a tiny little bit uh, smaller in diameter but they should fit through i should probably test that out real quick let's do that here let's just take this off he's got a washer in the back just the same See if I can pull it through here. There we go. Coming over here, yeah. Plenty of space there. And there's a lot of space behind this too, which is good to know because these are gonna be just a little bit longer than those right there. So we'll put this right back in. Gonna reach around up and under the bumper. Uh, one thing to show you right here is, you see that right there, moving around? That's gonna be the bracket it just goes along these four bolt holes right here. Put that right in there. And I think I'm going to grab the misses and we're going to go ahead and put that on. And then I'm going to do the wiring. I'm going to tap in to the reverse light harness here on the Jeep Wrangler. I'm kind of undecided if I'm just going to tap into one to power both of those. I don't know the wattage of those. I should maybe go look on hookroad.com but I might tap into them separately as well. I'm not sure how they draw, if they're coming from the same harness, just swinging across or not. Maybe it won't matter. So that's that. I think I'm gonna go get my wife and see if she can help me put this thing on. We just gotta get those four bolt holes lined up. Then it will at least sit down so we can get this buttoned up the rest of the way. These are gonna be, I believe, for your reverse sensors. Now this Jeep has a reverse camera, but it does not have the reverse sensors in that OEM bumper right there. And you know, just taking this off, I gotta tell you guys, taking off the factory plastic bumper <laughs> versus this right here, this is definitely chintzy comparative to this. This feels nice and solid. The welds look really good on them. That's very important. I was kind of concerned about this right here, but everything looks good. The welds look nice and this this cover again it's just it's nice it's it's gonna hold up i think here's your wiring good stuff you can take these out and you can replace them i don't know if there's a part number on those i suppose there would be on the actual light itself you could also put some different lights in there if you wanted to these look like they're going to be pretty good rule number one don't hit dad's jeep right yeah okay so i just saw that i did it yeah, yeah. Dad forgives me when I hit stuff. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I don't necessarily want to put this down. How can I do this? Mm. I just need to be under it so I can... <clears throat> that works. Nice, okay, so I'm just going to scooch on up. Scooting on over. So we just got these four bolts. And we just need to get a couple of them in and then it should hold. Oh, I have a... Oh, let's see here. Okay, yep. Just on the outside. Up a little. So you gotta go up? Yep. Oh. Well, my fingers are catching here. Oops. Okay. Um, hold on one second, I think. Can you see? Yeah. Don't touch the door. Watch out for dad's tailgate. Okay. You see it, right? Yeah. Okay. Hang on one second. Oh yeah, okay. Okay. Okay, just go and now let's just reach under. Oh, 
Oh. Okay. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, your fingers. Huh? All right, so I got two of the bolts and the nuts on. There's four of them here, like I showed you before. I got to get two of those other two. I think the way to do that might be to do the one over here. Then I got to get a long wrench, second, third, fourth. And we got two big bolts on each side here to hold this thing on. So we're just going to keep moving forward. Crystal's hanging out inside the All Jeep. All right, I wouldn't be doing you guys justice if I didn't show you the struggles along with the good stuff, okay? So we're going to do that right now. So here's the thing. I am liking the way it looks right now. I'm liking the way it looks. I put the jack underneath of it with some cardboard there because I wanted to raise it up just a little bit because with this custom exhaust, it was coming real close to hitting, but now it's not touching on either side. And as you can see, we're pretty much, I'm gonna go up just a tiny little bit right there so we're level across the board. So one other thing. Coming down under here, you see that bolt right there? Uh, I gotta get a light here, where's my light? Now you have four bolts that gotta go through this rail. As you're looking at it, basically think from right, which is the bumper side, to left, which is the bracket side. And to do that, I have got to reach up into this area right here. You can see that one right there. And what I did is I left this one in somewhat loose so that way I can raise it up and get it level. But on the other side, I am reaching through one at a time, putting the bolts in. I'm coming from the bumper side out this side, bumper side out this side. And that one, I guess I need to make a clarification. This is just for the, the middle two. So on the far sides, we've got the bolt head on the inside of the frame, but on the middle, we've got the bolt head on the outside going inward towards the gas tank. I'd be lying to you if I said it wasn't a tight fit for my hands, but I'm using some thicker bolts. I'm using the, the bolts that were in there versus the bolts that came with the bumper because they're just a little bit more heavy duty, but with that, they got a wider radius. Um, you can see this right here. This is gonna be a little bit thicker than the bolt that comes with the bumper. Not a huge deal. I bet this would hold up just fine. And these actually will go inside, inside that, that inside portion of the bumper so you can push them through towards the fuel tank. These bigger bolts, they're not as easy. They don't fit as well into the holes that are in the bumper, but it's okay. I'm working at it. I'm just about done. Three out of four done. I'm gonna move on to the next one and I'm gonna get these tightened up and I'll come back and show you the level that's not touching the exhaust, etc. All right, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bolts in. Three of them are fully torqued down. There's no torque specs that I know of, but they're snug. The other four are on the sides and I got one more in the middle and I can't get my big hands in there. Ah, I've tried from the back, from the front. I'm not switching to using the smaller hardware. I'm gonna stick with the big, the big stuff, okay? So I'm gonna take the uh, lock washer bolt. What are these things called again? My mind is, you know, I'm a little tired. But anyways, I'm gonna take my little magnetic piece, stick that on there, and we're gonna just try to sneak it in there just so I can screw that bolt in. And then I'm gonna have to figure out a way to actually hold it so that way it stays so I can lock it down way on the inside here. I can see it. This might work if I can extend this thing out. Yep. Where's my flashlight? Oh, uh, anybody see it? Ah, oh, it's way over there. We're just gonna do it anyways, here we go. I can kinda see the bolt head. This is what you gotta do, this is the key. I think it's gonna work, come on. Well, look at that, the whole time. I think I got it, guys. Did I get it through? Yes, I did. This is amazing. This is your key. This is the winner, winner chicken dinner. And in fact, 
Ah, oh, that's so nice. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna use to hold that down, but look at that. Come back empty-handed. Boom. Yeah! That was just a little guy right here. These two stayed there. What can I use to hold that thing in its place? Maybe like a flathead screwdriver, something like that. How about this, this big one right here? We're gonna try it out, Let's see what happens. See if it'll just tighten up all by itself. Praise the Lord, you know what? It's just tightening up, I don't even have to do that. Or is it? We'll see. It's supposed to. Yes, it is. Done. It's clearing just fine. Come on, use some muscle. We've got clearance for the bumpers, for the muffler, tailpipe, and there we go. We are nice and even right there. Let's check it out on the other side real quick. Hope for the best. Look at that, very nice. You got a couple insulators right there. All right, well, I'm gonna say good morning because it's the next day. I finished out late last night. We got the bumper all tightened up, like I said. We've got the wiring to deal with now. So right behind me, we're gonna go ahead and wire up these LED lights with these rear tail light harnesses. And I'm gonna do this side separate from that side. To do this, it's gonna be really simple. We've got our red, we've got our black, and underneath the bumper here for our LEDs, we've got the red, we've got the black, and I think I'm gonna start off just by taking this off. I've already got the cover off right there. Little Torx bit right here. There we go, comes right out of there. Put it right there. Crystal, hopped right in as soon as I opened the door up. So what's gonna happen here is this is just gonna come right out. These Wranglers are really good that way, coming apart. And yeah, see if I just set it down there nicely. Right here, you're gonna wanna look at the orange and purple. And those are the two wires that we're gonna wanna use. I'm actually gonna just disconnect the harness here so I can uh, manipulate it just a little bit better. This is what you're gonna end up with. Now, full reveal here. I made a little mistake and I've got the red going to the orange, which is how it's supposed to be, but you can see how it comes around here. It's coming out this side. I did that because I wanted it to follow the, uh, the way of the wire. And then I put the black to purple, which is perfect with these little inline splicers, but I put it coming out this way. So basically what that means, I'm gonna have to go ahead and just put them together but I'm gonna have a little bit more exposed than I want to. I always like to do the cleanest job possible. So with the other side, I will make sure that if we have the black coming out this way, the red's gonna come out this way as well, or vice versa. Small stuff in the grand scheme of things because this is done right. It's not going to cause electrical problems down the road. We're gonna make sure we seal this up with some electrical tape so it doesn't get corroded. Remember behind on those Wranglers, it is open. So you don't want moisture to get in there. Definitely seal this up with electrical tape. So this is it right here. This piece coming out here that looks kind of old, that's gonna be from the old harness or from the harness that's OEM where I just peeled it back a little bit and I did it very carefully, of course. Then we've got a little bit of electrical tape here, a little bit more than I want to, yet it's not bad at all. It's big because it's covering up your two splice connections. And then it comes right in here into this conduit. We've got our positive and our negative going back down and in. I gotta put a little more on the underneath, but I'll do that from underneath up to keep this wire protected. Now I'm doing that because I want it to be protected. I want it to last a long time. As you can see, we got metal edges everywhere in here and we've still just got uncovered or unconduited, if you will, wires everywhere. We're gonna connect up our harness. There we go. What types of projects do you guys got going on right now? I really like that conduit and you can get the good stuff where it's already split from like Harbor Freight or O'Reilly. I think they've both got them. Otherwise, if you get the really cheap stuff, you actually have to make the incision, if you will, yourself. You gotta cut it so you can put that wire down in it. And I don't like doing that. It's a big pain if you got arthritis at all, you won't be enjoying that. We are just down to connecting it up to here. Then we're gonna test it out. We put this thing into reverse. 
see if it lights up and if that's the case we're very close to a job well done this is the type of kit that you want to have this is dad's he let me borrow it here's a histronica 120 solder and seal or solder and seal connectors this comes in handy these are going to be put them on the line you heat them up with like a little mini torch or some heat and it solders the wires together and then you're going to put your heat shrink over these and they got different sizes big biggest little and smallest and then just a couple other miscellaneous things in there let's fire up the light on my head and show you the wiring underneath you can see the tools i got scissors a little torch this is going to be your wire coming in this is the factory one for the hook road comes with the bumper coming up into the conduit here coming up and around and up and in to the back taillight area now hindsight's always 2020 20, right so looking back what i'm going to do on the other side is i'm going to come from here and i'm going to swing around the body mount and then it will come out right here instead of in front it's not a huge deal it's fine i mean there's a harness right here from the factory all right and just like that we are done we got both the led lights wired everything's installed it's been a good day got all my mess that i'm going to pick up here this grill is going to be going on here very shortly so stay tuned it's going to be one of the next videos coming up we did a speedo coat clear coat job on that turned out really nice are you ready to go you got your books? Yeah. Is Moose in there with you? Yeah. Awesome. Let's take Grandpa's Jeep to him. One thing to call out for you guys, right down here on the corner, we're going to put a license plate relocation bracket. You're going to have two spots that you're going to tap. Not you're going to tap, you're going to drill. And then it's going to just kind of sit right here on the edge. The door will bypass it because there is not a spot here on the bumper that I want to put the license plate on other than right here on the top platform. You can also get kits that come right underneath your tail light right there, but those actually mount into the body. They don't hang off the tail light, and we don't want to put any holes in the body on this. I hope you guys have had a good day. Remember, hookroad.com. Head on over there if you're looking for something. Fix steel on these. We did some comparisons. These bumpers, at least this one in particular, has thicker steel than most out there and it is heavy duty built all i had to do to put this together was put the recovery points on that is it everything else came assembled of course i mounted it to the vehicle excellent mounting it's got a nice heavy duty hitch right here we've got our reese on there the standard one this is actually a shorty it fits underneath real nice jeep wrangler jl's you can do lots of things with them all right let's start this up i'm gonna let you see what the backup lights look like finally thanks for being along for the ride Would you look at that i'm still in the garage you guys watched the entire video you got to be kidding me if you did i appreciate it almost fell down there put my hand on that a little loose from our garage to yours have a wonderful day we'll talk to you soon bye guys